Hi guys, Lockie here from Undercover Cars at Capella Bar. Wanted to bring you another walk around video today. We've got a few new cars here in stock. We've been moving a few and uh, got a few new ones in. So, gonna get a few walk around videos done for you guys so you can get a better idea of uh, what they're all about. This is the first one I'm gonna do today. This is a 1982 Chrysler LeBaron convertible. Uh, this is a Mark Cross limited edition, designer edition car. It's got all the Mark Cross trim and all that sort of stuff. Mark Cross was a designer um, of handbags and fashion accessories, I guess, in the uh, early 80s in the US and quite well known. Um, a lot of car makers did sort of designer edition cars. Lincoln did some uh, with Cartier and Bill Blass and a few other people and uh, Chrysler were on the bandwagon there. So just walk around this car, beautiful car, low mileage car. See the crystal style hood ornament, really cool. Super 80s, this car, which we love. It's got the wire caps on it. Beautiful condition, the car. It's got this cigar lounge, sort of brown colored leather in it. Leather trim is beautiful. That is the original trim in the car. I'll try and get out of the light a bit. You can see the, uh, might be able to see the embroidery here. It says Mark Cross. And in the doors, if you have a look there, that's the logo, the little crest. That's a Mark Cross thing. Part of the limited edition package. Wood grain, you know, pretty luxurious interior for its era. Everything works on the car. The car features power windows. It's got a full power top. The top's all new. It's got a beautiful white top on it and clear window. Um, air conditioning in the car, power steering, power disc brakes, automatic transmission. See the gauges. We believe this mileage is correct to the car. It's showing 54,478. All the original stereo works. Uh, heater and aircon both work in cold. Beautiful cover on the top here in the same colour. See pinstripe down the side. Again, the wheel covers with thin white walls as they would have been stock. Across the back. Just a really well maintained car, I'll pop the boot. The uh, badge moves out of the way so we can get to the boot lock. Put that in here. Put the key the right way up, it'll probably help. So you can see in here is very tidy. Still got the instructions here of how to take the hubcaps off and you know, putting stuff in the boot and the jack and all that sort of the gear. All in here is beautifully carpeted. You got your jack and spare tire there where they should be. You know, all nicely finished. Also got a full history file on the car and an owner's manual. Close that up. Paint works beautiful on the car. It's a bit of a time warp, just really, really nice throughout. Now another interesting thing about this car is that they run a four cylinder motor. So a lot of the Americans um, in this period had big motors. Sort of the 80s was when they started to scale back a bit, worried about fuel economy and emissions and things like that. So this car runs from the factory, a 2.6 litre Mitsubishi engine. I'll show you under the bonnet. Pull the hood here. See, it's all beautiful in here. So the, the engine in this car is actually a 2.6 Mitsubishi four-cylinder motor. On it, as you can see, really clean under here as well. New battery. You can see it even says Mitsubishi on it. So this is the same 2.6 we would have seen locally in a Magna here. A uh, very common engine here, very reliable motor. Uh, obviously fuel efficient compared to some of the bigger cars from America. Um, you know, great little motor, and the bonus is that a lot of the parts are available locally if you have any issues with the car down the track. So, a bit of a bonus having that. Um, kind of nice to be able to have a classic car that's also very affordable to run and drive. Um, you know, drives down the road beautifully. You know, cheap to register and insure. So, kind of something a bit different to what we normally have here, and uh, I really love the car. It's good fun to drive. Turns a lot of heads on the road, so... 
yeah guys if you want to see it drop into the showroom 296 old cleveland road east at Kapalabar, or you can check out our website uh, there's a bunch more photos on there and if you need anything else don't hesitate to contact us the website is www.undercovercars.com.au thanks guys cheers